day. What's up to all my seeds? It's your girl, Nayari Sanchez, a.k.a. Drop the Mic with Mocha, also known as the Nocturnal Seer, Psychic Medium, Dream Interpreter, also the Intuitive Tarot and Oracle Card Reader, uh, as well as the creator of the Talk and Tarot Show. For my upcoming show of Talk and Tarot, the next topic will be about deities, okay? So that will be coming up this week, guys. Give me, uh, forgive me, I am falling behind. I've been having some things going on in my family. Anyway, if you happen to stumble across this video, like, share, and subscribe. I am new to building up my channel, so if you want to show me some love, you can always subscribe to my channel for future upcoming material, okay? This is not a channel strictly for a specific type of reading. I don't just do love readings. I do more so oracle readings. I get down into the depths of a person's shadow side. I do a lot of dream interpretations. I also offer personal readings, readings and members, mediumships. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, you can also uh, email me at the not T seer. That's the N O N O C T. S E E R at gmail.com for personal reading, perhaps, or meet me on Facebook at Drop the Mic with Mocha, all one word, and message me there to schedule. So, anyway, I'm getting ready to do a dream interpretation because I had a dream last night, right? And we were like in this Rite Aid or like the old Kmart or something like that. And it was like a whole bunch of people, like the line was like stupid long, y'all. So, my aunt and my grandmother was in this dream. They're both on the other side, okay? So, a song came on while everybody was in line, right? And somebody turned it up real loud. All I know is about 98% of those people scattered and everybody just started leaving out of the store. So, everybody was like, well, why are they leaving? And I, bur I blurted out. I was like, it was the frequency of the song that made them leave. So, my grandmother, I used to get a chair... And let her sit down while I stood in line with her when I would take her to take care of her business. So she wouldn't have to stand in line. So my aunt was in uh, sitting down with her stuff. So I said, you sit there when I get to the front of the line to check out. Um, then you can go in front of me and we can all leave together. So let me tell y'all. In this dream, I, I saw the number 4747. When I woke up and had to text, I texted to myself so I wouldn't forget it. I was like, let me text it to myself right now because I ain't going to remember if, if I don't do it now. So I'm getting ready to do an interpretation on this. Now, 47, 47, that's 4 plus 7, 4 plus 7. That's 11, 11. Okay? So I'm going to get to the bottom of what this dream was about. Right, y'all? So here we go. Sacred ancestors, guys, of the cosmos, calling it a quantum energy for a clarification of the dream interpretation for the frequency of the scattered people walking out scattered in the store. To give us a clarification of the direct message of that dream that it may resonate with others other than myself. Also, the number 4747 to give us clear distinction on that and how it applies as a message for the collective to others other than myself by the power of the universe. Clarity. Universe. Let's see what flows out on the board about this dream interpretation, y'all. Wow, you have the fool and the will of fortune, okay? You have the four of wands in reverse, okay? What's more messages? Some ancestors of the cosmos. All in the quantum energy of the dream interpretation to give us clarity. All right. Let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. We have the double, we have the seven of wands, we have the world, and we have the eight of cups. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the sun. And on the top of the deck, we have the three of pentacles, okay? So, I'm going to tell y'all what I get from this, right? The fool, the will of fortune, and the four of wands in reverse. So, now, in this dream, because the line was so long, okay, I feel like uh, that was talking about something from the past from because this world uh, card is here with the eight of cups, something about the past. OK, these could be past people that has maybe trying to line up and come back around with this will of fortune, karmic energy and the fool karmic energy. 
Whereas some of y'all may have still been connected to some of these people, still have feelings for them, some way, form, or fashion, or still have dealings with them, right? Could be long-term relationships, friendships, uh, family members, marriages, whatever relationship it is, okay? These are people from your past. That line was wrapped around a finger. I mean, right, uh, wrapped around the building, damn near. It was all inside the store, but it was just long as heck. So with this will of fortune... Throughout our lifetimes, we do, you know, accumulate people in our lives. And sometimes those people come back around. Sometimes we get back with these people, exes, all of that type of stuff, right? We just go back into it without thinking. Okay? So because that song came on, I feel like that song and that frequency was about a different energy with this three of pentacles energy. The three of pentacles energy is about um, forming some type of foundation, forming some type of um, strong foundation or solid foundation. Whereas before in the past, you know, um, a lot of, a lot of you may have been, you know, thinking that you saw happiness with something in your past, thinking that there was a future there, thinking that there was some sort of change and brightness there. Okay. But then you get there and find out that it's, it's, it was, you were selling yourself a dream. You get there and find out that it wasn't what it, you thought it was, okay? So in this dream, by the people all scattering, right? You have the four of wands in reverse. So that's a something being turned down, okay? Some type of um, offer being turned down, okay? When we change our frequency, when we start to disconnect and get away from these types of energies in our lives. Our energy becomes protected with the seven of wands energy. This in this case is about protecting one's energy, protecting yourself, being in solitude, being in solitary, protecting your heart space, protecting your energy, protecting your your, your throat chakra, protecting your crown chakra, protecting your root chakra, your sacral chakra, all of that. Okay. With the seven of wands, you're protecting everything in the forefront of you. You're protecting your life. You're protecting your, your surroundings. Okay? You're protecting everything that you've built in your own life for yourself. You're protecting your peace. See what I'm saying? So when these people scattered, that told me because that was the music, the vibration of the music, that lets me know that some of y'all are completely raising your vibration. And sometimes when you raise your vibration, people will scatter. Because they, they don't want to raise, they don't want to step their game up and meet you where you are. They want you to come down there with them. And a lot of y'all ain't doing that no more. A lot of y'all have turned this will of fortune into going in your favor. A lot of y'all have taken the opportunity to say, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and be by myself for a while. It ain't going to kill me. It ain't going to kill me to spend some time to myself. Some of y'all been single for a few years. Some of y'all may be going, getting ready to be single for a couple of years. OK, but it's worth it's worth it because a lot of y'all are getting ready to take that time and go on your own, your own personal journey and heal from karmic things in your past. You see what I'm saying? Somebody could definitely um, be considering maybe reconnecting or reuniting with something or even getting involved in something um, that they haven't been involved in yet with this world card here. Endings and new beginnings as well. Somebody could have just met somebody that they want to get involved with. And it may not be. It may not be what you think it is. Be careful with that. It may look like it's one thing and it may end up being something completely different other than what you think. OK, this person still could have bad habits or be connected to toxic people or toxic ways themselves. All right. So I feel like that's exactly what that dream was saying. Some of y'all, it's time to raise your vibration. And when you do that, you protect your energy and your space from pe people coming in, bringing you this type of problem, this type of devil energy. Nobody wants to be bothered with that because all that does is cause problems and restrictions and it's distracting to you. Excuse me. So there's things coming um, around that y'all might need to turn those opportunities and those engagements down, those relationships down, those friendships down. Some of them might even be jobs you need to turn down. Some of them might even be locations that you're trying to move and go live in. You might need to turn that down or it could just be time for some of y'all to move to another location to get away from a lot of the uh, drama or, or, or bad connections or toxic environments. It's time to go. It's time to move on. And this is what I got from that dream. 
as far as the energy goes. Boom. Some of y'all raising y'all vibrations and people going to scatter from y'all. So don't don't trip when people start acting funny or walking away or thinking you're acting funny because you don't want to be bothered with them. Do what you have to do for you. You, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, everybody going to do their thing. Why not do yours? You going to miss out on your opportunities in life worrying about other people? I don't think so. Um, tell me why the fool is here. Sacred ancestors. Clarify the fool. Look at that. You have the king of cups. You have the king of cups clarifying the fool. Whereas some of you may have been naive at some point in your life. Emotionally vulnerable and naive. Okay. That is getting ready to change for a lot of you at this point in time. You're no longer going to allow your emotions to control how you move. You're going to start using your brain now and not just walking into things based off of how you feel. You see what I'm saying? Because this is how a lot of people get connected to these types of this type of energy right here, this devil energy. OK, a lot of times we go into situations thinking that, oh, you know, this person is so sweet. This that this is that sun energy right here. Seeing everything in a rose colored glass, trying to see the good in every damn body. Oh, I love her. I love him. He's so sweet. He did this. He did that. Is it solid? Is it solid enough? For you to take that chance with the full energy. A lot of times when you're moving off of emotions, you don't see that because you're blinded by your feelings. You're blinded by that heart chakra. Okay. And this is why um, I feel like the seven of wands is here because it's telling you it's time for you to start protecting that heart chakra and quit making them type of decisions. Quit thinking with your damn heart all the time. Sometimes it is a cause for you to think with your logic and not your emotions. It's time to protect those emotions. It's time to protect. Some of y'all got really genuine hearts with this Queen of Cups energy. And, 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 and with this full energy, a lot of y'all have been taken advantage of because of that. You see what I'm saying? And then you get to the damn middle of the damn race and find out that, hell no. This person is such a pendejo. This person is a butt crack. I don't want this relationship. Next thing you know, something coming to an abrupt end. And you try to figure out like, damn, why am I always in these types of relationships? I just did a, a video about this, about the Akashic Records. I feel like this is also an extension of that because it's still talking about preserving yourself and raising your vibration so that you can avoid these types of people coming towards you without even having to entertain it or say nothing. Because these people will see your energy and your light will shine too bright for them to even cut you. Who going to get close to the sun? Who gonna get you sit outside in it too long? It's gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna be like, okay, damn it, it's time to go in the house and turn on some air, sit by the fan, go sit in some water. Something, you're not gonna sit in the sun too long when it's a certain type of degrees outside. Nobody's doing that, okay? Unless you want a damn heat stroke. This is how some of y'all vibrations is getting ready to go. That half to where people won't even be able to get that close to you. They're gonna scatter like roaches, like they did in that dream. That music came on and everybody knows when you're in a store, a depart any department, store, pharmacy, whatever it might be. The music is going to play, but it's going to play very low, very soft, very low, like elevated music. This music was on blast, okay? It was. And I was like, damn, everybody just start scattering out the store. And it was down to about seven to eight people. Seven to eight people. Look at that. The eight of, the eight of cups. It was down to about seven to eight people standing in that line to get to the checkout. So... This tells me that some of y'all need to check out of these relationships that y'all are in or these situationships that y'all are in and maybe those that's not involved in any situationships or relationships. Be careful not to get yourself involved in any, okay? Because you're just going to repeat something from your past. It's going to be the same energy. You don't want that energy no more. You don't want it no more. So no more thinking with your heart. Okay, I got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy out here. I have um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy out here. Okay, um, tell me why the devil is here. Clarify the devil, sacred ancestors. All right, let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. The Knight of Wands, again. The Knight of Wands and the devil. Uh, dealing with people who's really not coming to be solid in your life. It's time to let those people walk what's that song by Moore's Day at a time mm, you better ask somebody do 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 because i don't just talk do, 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 do. hey hey 
Mm, you better ask somebody. Some of these people that's coming into your life is coming to just talk. Get what they want and bounce. Or keep stringing you along, promising you something that they are not even capable. Not that they can't give it to you. Some of these people are not even capable of giving you a home, of giving you marriage, of giving you a faithful relationship, a strong foundation. They're not capable. Are you hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? Some people play the field because that's all they are capable of doing. That's all they know is passion. They don't know nothing solid. They don't know nothing real. This is why they do this shit over and over in every relationship. Everybody they come across, all they do is hurt people. And they say hurt people, hurt people. And I, and I beg to differ for that. Because some people get comfortable being miserable. I say people who are comfortable being miserable how they are, don't give a damn about nobody else's feelings. Because they don't have none. They not hurting. They just don't feel shit. Why? Because they're toxic and they don't care. They, they, they're they're going to continue. It's easy and convenient for them to do what they do. They're never going to progress. They want to stay in this restricted ass energy and continue to keep on just bouncing from person to person doing what they do because that is just who they are and that's who they choose to continue to be. Okay? But now you're being called to change your energy and vibration. Change your own energy and vibration. It's time to raise your vibration and walk in, and walk in a certain frequency so that people won't even approach you in this energy right here. That people that's in this devil energy that want to be connected to you for toxic reasons, okay? Financial reasons, sexual reasons, whatever type of gluttony that they may be going, dealing with temptation, that they may have addictions, that they may have sexual addictions, material addictions, uh, codependency addictions, whatever it is that they have going on, they won't try and bring it to you or think that it's okay to even approach you with that, with this Knight of Wands. Because the Knight of Wands can be very charming. The Knight of Wands can be very handsome. The Knight of Wands can look like they got their shit together. But the Knight of Wands ain't coming to, to do nothing serious. The Knight of Wands just want to play. The Knight of Wands ain't grew up yet and said, you know what? I think I want to make this solid. The Knight of Wands going to come give it to you. Six months later, they're going to be looking at something else. The next thing's walking by smoking. They're going to be like, okay. Soon as you, soon as they find out, soon as you find out they're not on the same page as you energetically and you start having an issue, they're not going to try to fix this shit. They're going to turn their back on you. Then you're going to be sitting around with a broken heart trying to figure out why this is happening to your life. Why? That's what people always want to know. Is the, Are they going to love me? Why do you want somebody that's in the Knight of Swords energy to love you? They don't love themselves. They don't love themselves. People in the Knight of Swords energy, they don't think before they act. They go after what they want. They pursue what they want relentlessly until they get it. Even if they don't have the best intentions with this Knight of Wands energy. Even if they don't, and you more more usually they seek out people that have healing energy. They seek out people that have genuine energy with this knight of, with this queen of cups energy. They seek out people that's healing. They seek out people that feel like it's at home to them. Okay, and a lot of people that's in this queen of cups energy are very 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 soft hearted people, very very genuine loving giving people. Okay, whether it's the king or the queen, it doesn't matter. This is the energy that I'm speaking of. So you know what happens? They get sucked right into it with this fool energy. They get sucked right into these relationships with these types of people. Okay, every time, every time with this will of fortune energy. Okay, but with this will of fortune also stands out and says to me that it's time for a damn change. It's time for a change. It's time to move forward now. And stop staying stuck in that same shit over and over and over again. It's time. Because at some point, I tell people, you can't keep pointing the finger. You got to turn that motherfucker back to yourself. And put that mirror. This is a mirror. Just look at this, this wheel as a mirror. When you look at it, you're going to see you, not the other person. You see what I'm saying? So some of y'all are getting ready to be single. Or if you're still single, you may continue to be for some time. Until you raise your vibration. Okay? And stop allowing yourself to entertain certain energies or, or get yourself to a vibration where those energies ain't even going to come towards you. Okay? Tell me why the Will of Fortune is here. You have the four of wands. What I tell y'all? I can't make it up. 
I can't make it up. The Four of Wands with the Will of Fortune. It's time for some of y'all to move forward and step y'all game up. And, and don't think you got it all together because you got a good job. You make good money. You live in a good neighborhood. Drive a good car. Don't think it's all about being a good catch because of what you have going on materially. Because you pretty or because you handsome. You take care of your body. You know what I'm saying? You keep your house clean. You got everything everybody wants. Don't, don't, don't take that for granted. Because you just may have all that material stuff together. But what, are, what, what, what type of energy are you possessing? Because at the end of the day, it all pulls down to your frequency. That's what you're going to vibrate towards yourself. It don't have nothing to do. People think that just because you're beautiful or you look good or you got a good, nice body or you or, or you working with a, a um, um, you know, a wand, a big wand or, you know, you know, you got some good wine on you or some good JJ on you. That that's all it takes on top of all of your material wealth or your material success. And that's the very thing restricting some of y'all from getting the happiness that you truly want in relationships. Because why that energy, that frequency you on? It's not strong enough or high enough to push those that's no good for you out of your energy, out of your kinetic field from being attracted and coming towards you. You know, you could be attracted to something and sometimes the, the, the magnetic the magnetic energy can be so strong and it intimidates your ass so bad. You ain't you're not going on. You just ain't going to approach it. Some of y'all getting ready to embody that energy right there. And that's what's going to lead you straight into fortune with your love life. Your whatever it is you're seeking to pursue as far as a solid foundation in your life, home, family, marriage, engagements, happiness, celebrations, whatever it is you're trying to do, whether it's business or love. I'm really getting business and I'm getting more of just in general uh, in, uh, in general. OK, because everything ain't always about romance. OK, and everything ain't always about finances. Some people just can't can't, you know, some people just want good people around them. And every time they think they can trust somebody, it's always some BS that comes out in the end of that. But why? Because your frequency, you ain't vibe, you ain't you ain't allowing your frequency to put your to put you. People have a problem with ego. And let me just say this. Too much of anything is, is, is not good, but you got to have a balance of ego, because if you don't, what, what kind of self-worth are you going to have? If you don't hold yourself in high regard, you have to do that without being able with be able to do that without trying to put other people down or making other people feel like they're less than. I ain't talking about that type of ego, that narcissistic shit. OK, I'm talking about a person that respects themselves enough to understand that you are a God, that you are a goddess and that you're not supposed to accept anything less than what you know in your heart you deserve. Because why you give that energy to people? Why why don't you deserve it back? Hell yeah, you deserve it back. You're giving that energy. I'm not talking to people that's in this double energy that think somebody owed them something or that think that they're obligated to have something because of how they look or 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 you know how they how they you know slob a knob or or you know how they you know suck a scooby tray. And I'm not talking about them type of people. You know, I'm talking about genuine people that deserve to be to, to recognize their worth genuine people who give that energy to everybody else who don't have a problem uplifting other people above themselves but at the same time you're supposed to get that shit back too and the problem with most genuine people is they give all of that and they don't get shit back now it's time to change that vibration yo you got the ace of coins up here once some of y'all really change our frequency once y'all change y'all the frequency of the energy you put out, you getting ready to attract what you really want to yourself. This is why this Ace of Pentacles is here with the Four of Wands. Okay, it didn't come out, but who cares that it didn't come out? Guess what? Some of y'all sitting up in this Three of Swords energy right now. Upset, unhappy, disappointed, tired of being by yourself and don't want to be bothered with nobody. Why? Because you still have not figured out or learned how to treat yourself as good as you should, how to put your own standards above normal. You're only going to get back what you put out. It needs to be above normal, you know, unless hey, if you feel like that about yourself, you know, I get it. And then you're going to continue to keep walking into things that's not going to that's that's not promising to you. 
You know why? Because you think that's all you deserve. Oh, well, this person is so nice. Oh, this person is so sweet. They did this. They did that. They're a good person. They did, you know, they, they just, oh, the, all of that trying to see the good in every damn thing, but ignoring all the red flags because you don't see why you shouldn't treat this person the way you want to be treated. But at the end of the day, what you get back in return is never what you deserve. Never what you deserve. Time to change the frequencies, baby. Tell me why the Seven of Wands is here for this energy. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Green and Sisters. I'm going to call it the Wands of Energy. I'm going interpretation. Tell me why the Seven of Wands is here. Power of the Universe. You have the eight, of, the eight of Pentacles, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys have come a long ways. Some of y'all have come a long way. Some of y'all have really, really learned a lot about yourself and about other people that you've been around. Some of y'all have learned that a lot of people are only around y'all for what you can do for them. Some of y'all have learned that, um, you know, a lot of people only want to take from you. So what you've done now is you've put those boundaries up. That's part of taking care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? There are some people out here that have stepped their game up from who they used to be. And all of a sudden, these uh, blood suckers and leeches want to stick around and cling to you because they want what you got. But some of y'all are paying closer attention to these people. Some of y'all done learned some serious lessons about so-called friends, family, and, and people that you sleep with. Because sometimes your ass be sleeping with the enemy. And your heart space be telling you something ain't right. Your sacral and your, your solar plexus be on fire telling you something ain't right. But you know what you do? You know some of y'all do? Oh, but she did. She cooked and washed my clothes this evening. You know, she took the car and got, I ain't going to be like that. Or he paid all the bills and I'm just not going to do that. Today. He bought my daughter ice cream and I'm just... Still trying to look past all the things that you need to see that you need to be protecting yourself from. All the red flags because you're steadily trying to see the good in people. Is it wrong to do that? No. But is it foolish to allow yourself to be blinded by that? Yes, it is. Because everything, every damn thing has a, a, a cutoff point. Every, uh, I'm sorry. Everything has a cutoff point. Okay. When you haven't been happy. Some of y'all are sticking in these friendships, relationships, and situations, and y'all ain't been happy for years. But you won't go nowhere. You won't protect yourself. You're stopping yourself from leaving. You're stopping yourself from walking out. Why? Because you're still trying to hold on to what you want shit to be. And it ain't what it really is. What you're holding on to ain't, ain't you holding on to something that, that, that's not even there. Some of y'all not even getting no... These people are not there for you emotionally. You're emotionally bankrupt trying to hold on to all of this shit. See, but now it's time for you to just get into that space to where you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your finances. You're protecting your energy. You're protecting your assets. But it's you, you, this right here, you still got to get into the energy to where these motherfuckers is, is just going to run away from you. Yo, yo, yo shit gonna be vibrating so high. They're not gonna even wanna be around you. And and that might be already happening for some of y'all with this moon energy. And y'all probably like, damn, you know, why this person pull away from me? Cause your vibration is changing. Your frequency is changing. And people can't handle that shit. They can't handle it. Be so bright. Your energy should be so high that motherfucker just look from a distance and be like, damn. Whoever got that person lucky is here. But then they'll keep it moving because they know they damn well they can't even, they can't match it. They can't match it. They can't match it because they still in a dark place they damn self. And these are people that's in that devil energy, people that's in that dark place themselves. But then they want to come late, 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 late with you sexually and transfer that energy straight to you. And then you're walking around, you know, um, unhappy. With your life. And, and you like, damn, why am I feeling like this? Well, because you just had some dark ass energy transferred to you. Because you allowed yourself to get into a situation based on what you thought it was or what it looked like. Okay? What it looked like. when you, What you thought you saw when this is really what you was getting behind the scenes. Okay? This what was behind, This was the moon energy right here. This is what you didn't see coming. The catch 22. Okay, but it's too late now because you done already got the wand and now you addicted to the sex. It's too late now because you done got the vajayjay. Now you addicted to the sex. Now you stuck in a toxic ass relationship. 
that you ain't even motherfucking happy in. Okay? That you keep trying to get away from, but it keep coming back to you. But it ain't promising you nothing happy. You just keep trying to make yourself believe that it's going to work this time. Yeah. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> okay? Some of y'all are done with that past. Some of y'all are not going back to that shit ever again. Some of y'all are completely moving forward in your life and becoming a new person, a new improved person with this world energy here. So that the next time you do get involved with somebody, it's going to be a healthy, healed relationship and it's going to go all the way where you want it to go. Talking about forever. A couple of forevers, baby, with this Wheel of Fortune and this Four of Wands. Some of y'all are manifesting that and you're about to get it. Because you know why? You're getting ready to start avoiding a lot of people that's not even on your level. And I'm not talking about nothing material. I'm not talking about nothing physical. I'm talking about energetic wise. Excuse me. I'm not talking about nothing tangible. I'm talking about your frequency. What it is that you're going for out of life. Your motivation. Your root chakra. Your sacral chakra. Your solar plexus. Your heart chakra. Your third eye. Your crown. And all of that. If you're going to, you're going to start you're going to start avoiding things that don't match those energies within yourself. So you getting ready to start attracting what you really want. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, tell me why the four of wands is in reverse. This 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 reading reminds me of look at that. The moon in reverse, y'all. Look at that. The moon in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. Some of y'all are opening y'all eyes finally. Some of y'all are really coming to the conclusion that you have to change your own energy. That you have to open your mind and your heart space open to elevating yourself instead of holding back out of fear. Out of fear of, you know, uh, some of y'all are scared of success. I'm going to be honest. Some people, some of y'all scared of success thinking that you don't deserve anything better than what you other than what you've been getting. That's not true. You see what I'm saying? But some of y'all coming out of this illusion, this elusive, this elusive way of thinking, because the moon is in reverse now with the four of wands. Some of y'all are walking away from long term relationships and marriages like, you know what, or relationships with, with friends, family, jobs. Y'all like, fuck that. I'm out of here. I, I, I got to go see what I'm missing because I can't keep sitting here making myself think this shit going to do something that it ain't did in four, five years. I got to go. OK, it's time to bounce. Biggity, biggity, more bounce. More bounce. Some of y'all like, I gotta go. Okay, relax your mind. Let your country be playing. Get down to the sign of a PMD. Hey, the ERTK is the name I spell. Rock to the clientele. Yo, I rock well. Some of y'all coming out of this blindfolded ass energy of thinking you can see the good in everything when you know damn well that shit ain't good because if you're not happy, how can it be good if you're not happy? But you're trying to make yourself Oh, we got kids together. Oh, we got a house together. Oh, we got investments together. Man, let me tell you something. They say I'm hopeless. Okay? Like a penny with a hole in it. What's the use of holding on to all of that when the whole damn relationship is hopeless? When the whole situation is hopeless? Why? Sit somewhere that you know that this shit ain't going no further, then you can throw it and you're not happy and ain't in. Why be miserable? Why? And you know you're not happy. Now you done took those damn rose-colored glasses off. The sun ain't blinding you. You're no longer blinded by your own delusional thinking that this is who you're supposed to settle for or be with. Some of y'all been settling for too long and that's why you're not happy. You're trying to figure out, should I leave? Should I, should I stay or should I go? You should get the hell out of there. That's what you should do. That ain't, you're not running. Don't run. You can't run. It's not running. It's called protecting yourself. It's called protecting your energy. It's called self-worth. It's called value. Okay? It's called value. Now, everybody's circumstances is different. But what I'm getting in this energy is that some of y'all know damn well. It's time to go. It's time to take your, 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 your little coins or your bunch of coins. Whatever the fuck you done worked for and invested. It's time to take what you're supposed to get. If you got to cut your losses, cut them bitches off. Cut your losses and leave whatever you got to leave behind and take what you do have and build on it from there. Build on it from there. Because some of y'all hey, some of y'all may feel like you're not strong enough to be on your own. Like you got to have somebody, a partner, somebody to help you financially balance shit out. 
Some of y'all just got poor spending habits. You don't need nobody to help you do anything. You just need to get your own shit together. Get your own man right. Okay? That's all y'all need to do. That's all. That's it. That's all. Tell me why the world is here. And that is too much. I am not politely not taking that. Okay? Tell me why the world is here. The quantum energy for the dream interpretation. Tell me why the world is here. Give me clarity of the power of the universe. And tell me why the world is here. The hangman is in reverse. Some of y'all are finally getting off y'all tail. Some of y'all are getting off y'all tail and allowing things to close out. Some of y'all getting off y'all tail. You done sat around long enough just like just, just drowning in your misery. Just drowning in it. But now you up and you like, yep, time to go. Time to close the curtains on this. Time to close the curtains. You've opened your eyes. Some of y'all have been mentally asleep. And thinking you're doing the right thing. Just by getting up every day doing the same shit for years. Same old boring shit for years. Lying to yourself. With this hangman in reverse. The hangman being in reverse tells me somebody just been lying to themselves. You got the moon in reverse. That also tells me somebody just been lying to themselves. You have the four of wands in reverse. That tells me that somebody just been lying to themselves. You have the queen of cups with the fool. That tells me that somebody just been lying to themselves. The wands, the knight of wands and the devil. Somebody just been lying to they self. But somebody that came to their damn senses because you have the eight of cups with the seven of wands. Okay? You have the eight of cups with the seven of wands and then you have the four of wands upright with the will of fortune. And then uh, overall you have the ten of wands. Somebody then came to their senses and realized that they're the reason for their own pain. They're the reason for their own sadness. They're the, e the reason for their own, the way, whatever way they're feeling. Stuck, whatever it is, to a coins that they've put all this responsibility on themselves, worrying about what other people think, worrying about how things is going to go if they walk away. Well, I don't know. I don't want to just I don't want to just walk away and leave it. Ma'am, if you don't get the fuck on and start to look at that, the king of cups, what I tell you. Some of some of my masculines out here worrying about, oh, I don't want to just do, I don't want to just walk away. The queen of cups and the, and the king of cups. Y'all out here being making all these soft ass decisions for yourselves. And ain't nobody, it ain't weighing on nobody but you. All the responsibility is weighing on you with this two of pentacles and this king of cups energy. Okay? With this ten of swords, this ten of swords. All the responsibility. Taking on everybody else's risk. Thinking you're responsible for all these grown motherfuckers. And they need the they problem. So you stay in these unhappy relationships with this queen of cups and this fool energy and this two of pentacles and this king of cups energy. Places that you don't even need to be. These people are taking advantage of your ass with this double energy. Keeping you in a manipulative, being manipulative, trying to make you think that you owe them something. They got to have you. They can't make it without you. Well, I guess if you can't make it without me, bitch, you just going to be floating up the river some goddamn where you and all your clothes because I can't help you no more. Okay? I can't help you no more. I got to stack my own bread. I can't keep giving and giving and giving and y'all don't give me shit back. But, but, but drama. All I'm getting back... It's bullshit. Bullshit. That's all you give me back is, is, is talking crazy to me. Starting shit with me. Trying to keep me on child support. Trying to keep me locked up in this, in this, in this, you know, whatever financial situation or ties we got. No, you trying to keep me on lockdown. Trying to use sex against me. You know, trying to keep me sexually connected to you. All type of shit. No, we're not doing that. No more. Some of y'all that came to y'all senses and said, let me just go ahead and start, you know, stop giving out all my money. Let me protect my assets and my finances. These motherfuckers going to quit calling me every time they need a, a favor or a loan. I ain't got it no more. Why? Because some of y'all that came to y'all damn senses and y'all know it's time to move on. And you're going to have to have something to stand on when you do move on. Why? That's why this three of pentacles is sitting here. Some of y'all going to have to start from scratch. But guess what? You can do it. You got it. You can do it. You can do it. And this is what that dream was about. Getting away, making people scatter away. You start putting up them boundaries for yourself, you're going to automatically raise your vibrations. People ain't going to want to be bothered with you when they can't take advantage of you and use your ass no more. They're not going to want to be bothered with you anyway. <laughs> Matter of fact, they're going to gossip about your ass and talk about you with this devil energy. And act like you did something to them because they can't pick up the phone and call you and use you no more. Because you done put that boundary up. Stop giving away your money. 
Okay? Stop giving away your energy with this Queen of Cups and this fool. Quit listening to other people's fucking problems. Anybody got time for that? You need a therapist. Okay? Take your insurance or, or, or save your money and quit buying other shit you don't need and go pay for a therapist. Stop calling me with that. You know, a lot of y'all have not. This is why some of y'all in that unhappy ass energy. Taking on everybody else's problems except your own. Look at that. And the three of swords flew out. I didn't get a chance to deal with shit. Look at that. This is how a lot of y'all are getting ready to be. Y'all getting ready to keep all these motherfuckers that ain't got nothing better going for themselves but to bring you bullshit out of y'all life. Out of y'all life with the three of swords in reverse and the eight of cups upright. Y'all about to avoid a whole lot of heartbreak, disappointment, bullshit, unhappiness. Some of y'all are turning y'all back on that shit once and for all. And these people are running, they, 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 they push you, you're, you're, you're turning your back on it, putting up your boundaries and that's causing these motherfuckers to, to get away from you. Wow. Beautiful reading. Beautiful. So now, so let me do a final outcome with the number seven, uh, what is it? 4747. Sacred ancestors. Clarify 4747, 11, 11. Uh, give us clarity about what the numbers mean about for uh, the dream interpretation that I saw in the dream. Give us clarity about 4747. Give us a clear view of what that is for our tarot. Okay, man, it's a bunch of stuff that came flying out. Let's see. We have temperance. Seven of pentacles. The king of pentacles. All right, now. The hangman and the tower in reverse, y'all. So check this out. Okay, some of y'all have completely avoided getting into situations that was not for you. Some of y'all have avoided that, right? So that number 47, 47, again, that's 7, 7 plus 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Seven, that's 11, 11. That's soulmate energy. Some of y'all are calling that in. Some of y'all y'all have avoided getting involved in something, into something that was not for you to leave room an open opportunity for what you really deserve to come flowing to your ass. This is Sagittarius energy. Soulmate energy. This is also a twin flame energy. 11-11. I can't, y'all see me deal this shit so I can't make it up. And then you have the seven of pentacles. This is about calling something in to you. Which you allow yourself to invest your time and energy into. Some of y'all have really been focused on y'all sales, on y'all, um, excuse me, on y'all stability, you know, stacking money, putting money to the side, starting y'all businesses, doing whatever y'all do. But y'all had a lot of distractions around y'all. Now y'all done got rid of them, y'all getting rid of them distractions. And you're avoiding your own downfall. From now on, some of y'all are very aware, like I'm not doing this and no, I can't do that no more. Those people are not going to like y'all asses no more. I'm going to tell you that right now. But what you're doing now is you're no longer making room but the three of swords energy, you're turning your back on the three of swords energy and people who's coming to you with that energy. You're turning your back on these damn types of people. And since you are doing that and avoid avoiding getting yourselves in these types of situations, that soulmate y'all calling in is coming, baby. It's on its way. It's coming. 40, I think that number clear as day 4747. Y'all calling in a motherfucker soulmate. Y'all calling in a soulmate. Why? Because y'all sacrificing people that from your past. Y'all sacrificing getting involved in a relationship with anybody. You're staying single and working and focusing on yourself right now. Being single. This is what this hangman represents right now. You're sacrificing your life and your time. Although some of y'all are ready for a relationship. Y'all ready for that marriage. Y'all ready for that solid relationship. But guess what? You won't let yourself just get involved with anybody no more. You're not letting people from your past come back around. You're not letting people come into your life and sweet talk you and make you think everything is all good and then find out later you fucking with the dang gone um, uh, uh, atrocious person that didn't have good intent. You, 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 you over there. You're not getting involved with people just for sexual, you know, attraction. Just because you're attracted to them and you just want you. That's over with now. Now. You're making no sacrifices. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and bite the bullet and stay single till I get what I want. That's this, that's this hangman energy, Piscean energy. Y'all are making the sacrifices to stay by yourself. And look what's on the bottom deck, the king of cups. Y'all about to get what y'all want. Whoever y'all manifesting, man or woman, this is going to be a loving person. They're going to come in and invest in a relationship properly. 
They're going to have their money together. Y'all going to work together and build something together with the Seven of Pentacles energy. And y'all are going to have a very strong bond and connection. A twin flame connection. A soulmate connection that ain't nobody going to be able to fuck with. With this tower in reverse. Nobody's going to be able to come in and destroy that. No baby mama. No exes. No family members. No jealous ass, hating ass friends. Ain't nobody going to be able to destroy that. So y'all keep doing what y'all doing, baby. So there it is. The dream interpretation about the, the um, you know, whatever that was. It looked like it was an old-ass Kmart to me uh, or something like that. But the the department store dream where all the people scattered in the line because the music came on. And they turned it up and people just flew out. It was seven people left in that line. Seven. Seven of Wands energy right here. That cleared out the whole line. You think I was like, I oh, shit. You think I was, it wasn't nobody complaining because the people left. They said shit. I just go, hey, now I can get closer to the checkout. Some of y'all about to get close to the checkout line. Some of y'all about to be off the market real soon. Some of y'all are about to be married and engaged. Some of y'all about to be married, engaged, and engaged. And then you got the, again, 11-11, the four of wands. 47-47. That's what that is, okay? Then you have this. I can't make this up. The temperance. Some of y'all are making that sacrifice to do what you need to do. Some people don't know how to be by themselves, but y'all ain't. Y'all tired of that now. You want what you want, and, and you about to get it, baby. All of these are, this both, these both are twin flame cards. 11-11, soulmate energy. Y'all calling it in, baby. So that's what I got for y'all. Anybody need a personal reading, y'all know what to do. Hit me up at the not t -seer at gmail.com or get with me on Drop the Mic with Mocha. One word on Facebook. Y'all can get with me on uh, Nairi Sanchez on my Instagram page. Also, I want to give a shout out to the Groundings team, Ashley and Artoon Grounding. If y'all need a birth natal chart reading to see if you're compatible with the person that you may be pursuing or have in mind, please get on Facebook and go to um, the Ashley's Grounding Ritual Group, okay? Go in there and friend Artoon uh, L. Bay. Raw Elbe, Artoon Raw Elbe, I think that's how you say it. I'll put their name in the description in Ashley's Groundings, okay? If you need some, some rituals and cleansings and stuff like that, you can also get in touch with them. Very good people. They do excellent work, you know, uh, very trustworthy people. So um, on that note, y'all know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe, and share button. And I'll see y'all on the next Talking Tarot general reading. And then stay tuned for the next Talking Tarot show deities. On that note, she out. Peace.